So what does that process of the Federal Reserve printing money actually look like? Okay, we've discussed it in previous videos, but I wanted to give a short and sweet recap on that in today's training. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams, and on this channel, we empower individuals to achieve freedom through improved financial literacy. If you are new to this channel, make sure to click subscribe and click the bell so that way you get notified on any and all of our future training. So in today's video, guys, we're gonna be covering the seven-step process that the Federal Reserve uses to print money or create currency. And the bottom line is, you know, we've been able to break down uh, this process in other videos, but I wanted to create one concise video that literally just walks you through that process of what happens from A, B, C, D, all the way to Z, uh, and kind of that full loop around money and currency creation. So let's dive into the recap, let's go. So let's go ahead and recap this one more time to really drive this point home. It all starts again with step one, where the government does deficit spending. And from there, it tells the treasury to issue a bond. And those bonds are what add to our country's national debt. These bonds through step two, uh, through a process called open market operations, where the treasury sells these bonds to uh, the largest banks in the world. And then from there, the banks are able to sell these bonds over to the Federal Reserve and they're able to make a profit on that sale. From there, the Federal Reserve is able to write their own IOU. They're able to pull out their big old checkbook and write a check from nothing and send their IOU, their check, right back to the commercial banks uh, to purchase the bond. And from there, currency springs directly into existence. And again, guys, it's this process of buying and selling bonds. It's this process of open market operations. You know, when you hear people talking about printing money, this is the process that they're talking about. Okay, again, the treasury bonds are sold to the banks. The banks sell those treasury bonds to the Federal Reserve for a profit. The Federal Reserve writes a check, okay, from nothing and gives that check to the commercial banks, which they are able to turn directly into currency okay which can then go back to the treasury department once the funds go to the treasury department uh, from there it's turned over to the government where they can finally begin with step three which is making good on all of their promises step three is how money and currency actually gets into the general public or gets circulated to the general public because all of the folks that work for the government work on these social programs or are in the military they're getting paid these government checks and what do they do? They get their check and they have to take their check and in order to get currency, they have to take it right back to the commercial banks. And so they deposit their checks into the banks. From there, we move into step four, where the banks are able to multiply the currency supply by using fractional reserve lending. And that's what makes up our total currency supply. Now, the currency supply, that is what we work for. Okay, so our blood, sweat, and tears, our time, energy, and effort goes into working for a piece of this currency supply. Moving on to step five, our currency is taxed and we are forced to pay an income tax to the IRS. So the government receives this money. And many folks, again, think that our tax dollars go simply for public works, roads, bridges, and schools. But in fact, the IRS takes our tax dollars, sends them directly to the Treasury Department. And the Treasury Department's number one responsibility is to make good on its word. Your word is your bond. For the Treasury, their number one responsibility is to make good on those bonds. And who controls all the Treasury bonds? That's right, the Federal Reserve. And so our tax dollars go directly to the Federal Reserve so that way we can pay principal and interest on the bonds that the Federal Reserve was able to purchase from a check that was drawn from an account with nothing in it. That moves us over to step six where there's that whole debt ceiling uh, farce. And the bottom line is they will always raise the debt ceiling because simply put, more currency needs to be in existence in order to satisfy the interest payments on all of the debt. That moves us there to step seven where the secret owners finally get paid. And from there, the big banks and the owners of the Federal Reserve are making money on selling our national debt to the Federal Reserve at a profit. The secret owners are able to get paid on the reserves that are being held at the Federal Reserve at interest. 
And from there, the owners of the Federal Reserve are also paid a 6% dividend on their stake in the Federal Reserve. And there it is. That's the entire process in seven steps.